Ever get that like totally overwhelmed feeling when you're just trying to pick something to watch? Oh yeah. Like just browsing Netflix and it's like every choice is gonna make or break the entire night. It's so true. It's funny how even with like pretty low stakes decisions, right? we can get like completely overloaded yeah. by how many options there are. Seriously. And it's not just me. Oh, not at all. Okay, good. It's a human thing. So that's actually what we're diving into today, how to make like better choices all right. when we we don't even know. When you're faced with uncertainty. Yeah, uncertainty is the key. And okay, get this. Our main source for this is a YouTube video. And it tackles all this through the lens of... Hmm. Math. Math, yes. Of course. Not the first thing you think of. Well, maybe not for everyone, but it's a fascinating field. Right. There really are people who dedicate their lives to like strategizing under uncertainty. That's so cool. I yeah. Feel, okay, so the video, it unpacks something called the multi-armed bandit problem. Yes. Okay, now when I hear multi-armed bandit, I'm picturing like old cartoons okay. with a slot machine that has way too many levers. Is that... You're spot on. Okay, good. You're exactly right. So picture that slot machine. All right. Each lever has a different payout. Okay. But you don't know what it is. You don't know until you pull it. Exactly. Ooh. So do you keep pulling the one that seems like, yeah. okay? Right. Or do you risk it, try the others, but then you might miss out on like the jackpot, you know? Oh, that's brutal. That's the core dilemma. Okay, but how does this, like, how do we get from slot machines to real life? Well, that's the cool part. Okay. The video does a really good job of connecting this like kind of abstract problem to stuff we actually deal with. Okay. Like all the time. Yeah. So think about something like choosing high school courses. Okay. You don't have all the information about what each subject is going to be like, right? Mm -hmm. There's some randomness, like how well you'll actually do. Yeah. And you only have so much time to figure it out. Mm time. The worst. The ultimate constraint. It's true. You can't take every single class. You can't, unfortunately. Just to be sure. Right. Yep. So this is where... Yeah. So how? what's the what's the math solution? So they talk about yeah. this algorithm. It's called UCB. UCB. Upper Confidence Bound. Okay. It sounds really complicated. Yeah, it does. But you're going to break okay. it down. We're going to break it down. And it comes down to two, we'll call them core principles, like the essence of it. Okay, I like it. So principle one, Optimism in the face of uncertainty. Okay. And two, constantly learning, like, from your experiences. All right, I got to be honest. I'm a little lost on the first one. How does math get optimistic? Okay, so think of it this way. Okay. Imagine every single choice you have has, like, a score. Okay. Right? Based on how good you think it is. Okay, I'm with you. And UCB says, at the beginning, be bold. Okay. Be optimistic. Add a bonus to each score. Really? Yeah, because you just don't have enough information yet. Oh, that's interesting. So we're almost like we should be more experimental. Yes. Early on. A hundred percent. Because we don't know enough to be like making more calculated decisions. Yep. Okay. I kind of love that. It's counterintuitive, right? It is. Yeah. But it's like, because we don't know, we have to be a little more open to trying things. Okay. But, and this is important, every time you do make a choice, okay. that bonus, it decreases. Oh. Oh, so as you get more information, yeah, it becomes more like grounded in what you're seeing. So it's like those first few pulls on the slot machine. You're just like seeing what happens. Exactly. You're testing the waters. Okay. Figuring out which levers seem promising. Oh, sure. okay. And then you can start narrowing it down. Okay. So that's like the balancing act of UCB. I see. It's constantly balancing. Yeah. Trying new things, Extra. exploration yeah. with sticking to what seems to be working, exploitation. Exploitation. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. So we're not just randomly pulling levers forever. No, no, there's a method to the madness. There's a method. I like it. Okay. Yeah. That actually makes a lot of sense. It, but the video, it doesn't stop at just the math, right? It goes a little deeper. Oh, yeah. There's a whole psychology element to this. Okay. Tell me more about that. So they talk about Fixed mindset versus growth mindset. Oh, interesting. Which is really relevant here. Okay, break that down for me. So fixed mindset, that's believing your abilities are, you know, set in stone. Like you're either good at something or you're not. Exactly. Okay. Growth mindset is the idea that you can always improve with effort. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. And UCB, it actually reflects that growth mindset. Oh, that's so interesting. It's not about getting it right immediately. Yeah. It's about constantly learning and getting better over time. That's so cool. Okay, that is fascinating. Right. It kind of takes the pressure off. 
It really does. Needing to make the absolute perfect choice right away. Yeah, because I think we do put a lot of pressure on ourselves okay. to like make the right decision the first time. Especially with big life choices. Oh, yeah, for sure. But if we can shift our thinking to be more about the process of learning and adapting. It opens things up, right? Yeah. It becomes yeah. less scary, less high stakes. Exactly. I love that. This is seriously making me rethink how I approach like every decision. Right. It's kind of freeing, isn't it? It is. It's like, okay, I don't have to have it all figured out right exactly. now. Exactly. Oh. You get to discover as you go. And speaking of discovering as you go, the video also mentioned this fear of failure thing. Oh, yeah. Huge. And how that can really, like, hold us back from actually trying anything new. It's a big one for sure. And I feel like for me, that's a big one. Yeah. Like, I don't even want to try if I think I might, like, totally mess it up. And, you know, it's interesting. The video actually connects that back to... Yeah. Like fixed mindset. Oh, really? So, like, they go hand in hand. Okay, so the more you think you can't change, the more you're afraid to even try. It makes sense, right? Yeah, it's like if you think, I'm just bad at this, right? why would you put yourself out there? Exactly. Why would you risk failing if you already believe you're going to fail? It's true. Okay, so then how do we, I, I guess, how does UCB, like, play into that? So, think of it this way with UCB. Every experience... Even the ones that don't go perfectly. Yeah. Those are actually valuable because they give you information. Okay. <laughs> it's like instead of seeing a setback as a failure. Right. It's just data. It's feedback. Okay. So instead of like I bombed that audition, I'm the worst. It's okay. What can I do differently next time? Exactly. You're learning and refining as you go. Okay. That's actually really helpful because yeah. that is something I struggle with. Yeah. And the video actually talked about how like our education system. Oh, interesting. It kind of reinforces that fear of failure, that fixed mindset. Oh, okay. How so? Well, think about it. Okay. Standardized tests, yeah. right? <laughs> Grades. It all kind of emphasizes this idea of being right or wrong. Right. And there's only one right answer. And it can make people think that their intelligence is like fixed. Like you're either smart or you're not. Yeah. And so you might avoid things you don't think you're naturally good at. Okay. And I can see how that would translate into like career stuff too. Totally. If you're too afraid to try a job. Yeah. Because you don't think you're smart enough or whatever. Right, you limit yourself. Yeah, you're stuck pulling the same lever over and over again. Exactly. You might miss out on something amazing. Oh, that's scary. But the video's message is really about, like, breaking free from those limitations. Okay. It's like, be open to new possibilities. Okay, but what about those really big decisions? Like what? Like, choosing a career path. Yeah, that's a big one. Because that feels very fixed mindset to me. Like, you're supposed to just know. I think a lot of people feel that way, but the video actually yeah. encourages a more, we'll say, flexible approach. Yeah. Okay, I got to hear this. So what would a UCB approach to picking a career even look like? Okay, I like flexible. So it's less about, like, locking in a single path. Yeah. And more about, like, you know, setting a direction and then being open to where it takes you. So instead of having, like, a rigid five-year plan right it's more like having a compass it's like here's generally where i want to go yeah but i'm open to you know taking detours okay i like that and discovering new things along the way yeah and it's like those early explorations are almost more important they're crucial because they're giving you the information yeah like even if a job or internship yeah doesn't turn out how you expected right it's not a failure it's data Ooh, I like that. You know, it might confirm what you don't want. Oh, that's so true. Which can be just as valuable. Yeah, because then you can stop doing that. Exactly. I feel like this whole conversation has just made me realize how much yeah. my own decisions are... Driven by... Like, ruled by fear. Fear, oh yeah. Like, what if I look stupid or something? Or it's so real, that fear of looking foolish. It's so real. Or, like, making the wrong choice. Yes. Yeah. It holds us back. It really does, because it's like... Yeah. I'm giving up the possibility of something amazing right. just because I'm afraid it might not work out. And that's what the video really encourages us to challenge. Okay. It's like, what if we saw uncertainty? Yeah. Not as something to be afraid of, okay. but like an invitation. Ooh, I like An invitation to experiment, yeah. to learn, to maybe like discover something new about ourselves. Okay, but how do we actually like get there? It's definitely a process. Yeah. But the video does offer... Like some concrete steps. Okay, am I listening? One is surrounding yourself with the right people. Okay, so like good vibes only. Kind of, but more like people who 
embody that growth mindset. Oh, okay. So people who are going to like support you uh-huh. even if you try something and it doesn't work out. People who see those, quote, failures as opportunities to learn. Yes, because that can be so huge. It makes such a difference that that kind of support system. Yeah, for sure. What else? And then I think equally important is celebrating your own progress. Oh, okay. Like no matter how small it might seem. Right. So even if I just like... Even if you just try one new thing. Okay. That's a win. I like that. Because you're reinforcing that growth mindset. You're proving to yourself that you're capable of, you know, change and learning. Yeah, because I think it's easy to get stuck Oh yeah. in that, like, I messed up in the past, therefore I'm going to mess up again. It's a cycle. You got to break it. Right. But if we're looking at those past experiences as data. Exactly. Beta points not defining characteristics. I love that. Oh, my gosh. This has been a lot. It's a lot to digest. For sure. It is. But in a good way. Good. That's what we like to hear. It's like, okay, I actually feel more optimistic about making decisions. <laughs> Say it. It's wild that we're talking about math, and I'm coming out of it feeling like lighter. It's all about the mindset shift. It really is. Okay, so to our listener, here's something to think about. Yeah, what can you do? What can you approach with a little more of that? A little more UCB style. UCB optimism. Yeah. Optimism, exactly. We just like one little thing today and see how it goes. I love it. This was awesome. This was fun. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on.